Hello Gemini, this is Sue from Sweet Love Tarot doing in-depth loved readings this time for the month of September and um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have already um, shuffled so what you have in common with your partner. Uh, what's going on with them, who you're dealing with, um, how you're being perceived, and how this affects things. Um, so what I've got here is what you have in common is that the both of you have sort of been taking a time out. You've not been like dating a lot or doing a lot of stuff with other people. You've kind of been taking it easy, a self-imposed rest. Um, and so you're at a point now where you really want to let that go. It, it could be the influence of each other that makes you feel as if you really want to go forward now and you don't want to rest anymore. Um, now, how this person is um, dealing with things, what's going on with them, they're still, they're still not quite healed. They're still in healing mode, but they're not quite done yet. They are hoping though, they are wishing, but they still have a little bit of self-doubt. And the way that you're being perceived right now is you're being perceived like you're not really working with them. Um, like as if you are only thinking about yourself and not really helping them. Um, and how this affects things. This sort of really takes the passion out of things and kind of creates uh, blocks. Because um, this is, really isn't true. This is just their perception uh, of you. Uh, you are willing to work with them and you don't really uh, you feel like they should stand on their own two feet and being the Queen of Wands you know you know they they really should stand on their own two feet and you don't want someone that that you have to hold their hand and mother along um, and let's see what's coming forward for you um, how this affects how you feel and how you're dealing with it Okay, what's coming forward? You, you don't feel like this has been very fair going forward. You feel as if you've probably done more of the work than they have. And that actually looks like it's probably true. They've been kind of feeling sorry for themselves and, you know, boo-hoo, help me out. And, and, but you know, but you kind of want somebody in your life uh, moving forward. You don't really want to, to go it alone. Um, but you see that this person really isn't using their inner voice. They're not listening to their intuition. Um, and you know that they've got that. Everybody does. Listen to your heart. And you feel that they're not really doing that. And how, how that's affecting things, how, how things feel between the two of you, it makes it feel like it's not moving forward. The chariot in reverse. No forward movement. Um, how you dealing with it? You're trying to keep the lines of communication open. You're working very hard at perfecting this, but you kind of don't feel like it's been lucky. You feel like things have not really turned in your favor yet. And I kind of get that feeling too, looking at this. It's not really moving forward yet. But uh, at, at this point, after you've put in the work and you've kept the lines of communication open, let's see how that's going to affect things going forward. Hmm, wow, everything's upside down. Um, I have the King of Wands here in reverse. Um, so there again, we've got a, another creative block, uh, but it is a pair. <laughs> you got the Queen and the King of Wands in reverse. Uh, I have the Hierophant here in reverse. So that tells me that this person maybe doesn't really believe in a traditional relationship. Uh, maybe they think outside the box and they're kind of a nonconformist about things. but. They're not trying to, to grab the high ground anymore. They're not trying to like prove themselves right. Uh, your current focus, what it should be, uh, what your focus should be on is the end of the cycle. Uh, Ten of Swords in the upright. This is betrayal, but it's at the end of the cycle. So you still do have a, a pain from the past that is haunting either one or both of you and what you need is uh, the world. You need to get closure on this for this relationship to feel like it's whole or complete. Uh, clarifiers. Nobody wins. Everybody holds back. 
I feel like at this point going forward, because you're not really done yet with this, um, with the betrayal, the healing has not completely taken place, and someone is still going to be focused on what they've lost rather than what they have. Okay, the tower. Someone is still hanging on to the past. But there is love there. Um, so I guess what you need to, to uh, but this is at the very end. So we're talking like at the end of September, perhaps someone's going to be able to get past all this. This looks like a complicated mess right now between you and your partner. Um, there is love in the end. Um, it's a small expression, uh, but it is an expression of love nonetheless. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. And um, I hope you join me next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.